So this look is inspired by Kate Middleton's bridal makeup. Of course she's now Princess Catherine. Um, her makeup absolutely stunning. Her sister's even stunning so. Um, I don't know what they used but she, it was it was absolutely stunning. Inside the Abbey looked lovely and then when she came out into the open air with natural light hitting the makeup you suddenly saw a, a beautiful underglow. Um, really surprised she went for a smoky look but she carried it off so well. So I've done this um, makeup look inspired by hers. Um, I've toned down the blush a little bit. Going back to watch the Balcony Kiss it seemed like the the blusher was retouched um, in between her leaving the Abbey and coming back to the palace. She has gone suddenly gone very bright with the cheeks, but I've kept mine, um, I think still bright so, but it, you know, it's certainly wearable. Um, I've tried to, uh, I've tried to be inspired by the look, so it's not exact, but um, here goes. The wedding's still happening, they've just exchanged their vows. Um, I've got a henna job later on today, so I wanted to get my tutorial up. Um, so I haven't seen um, the makeup as it is. I've, I've just seen it as it is in the chapel in, in Westminster Abbey, but I haven't seen it um, outside in the in the daylight. So I'm just going to start by colour correcting my dark circles and pigments or pigmentation, and I'm using um, Max Orange Cream Colour Corrector with, mixed in with my usual concealer, which is a warm base concealer. I'm going to spray Fix Plus onto my brush and blend all that in. I've got a little redness around my cheeks, um, so I'm just going to use a bit of green concealer. I'm using the one from Makeup Atelier Paris. I'm going to use um, L'Oreal Studio Secrets on um, around my nose because um, I noticed that she had very little shine um, on the face. So I'm just going to pat that on as I've already got concealer on. I don't want to disturb it. I'm just going to go over that gently with a brush to even it out. But really gently. Because otherwise it will tend to gloop with the concealer underneath. Just brushing on some loose powder, I'm going to use the one by Makeup Atelier. Just under my eyes for the time being, just to stop it from creasing. I've got a lot of product under there. So for the um, crease, I'm going to use uh, this Inglot Grey number 348. Just tap in and work that into the crease. I've already done one layer, as I'm doing now, and really faded it out. I'm just going in with a second layer now, keeping this one darker. And then going in again and just keeping very close on top of the crease and just filling in with a line there. Taking a pencil brush now, just going in with that same colour, just to put that colour back in there as I blended it away. 34 and 36, mix the two up together and just coming in on the lid here. I will um, sweep that away in a little while. And then onto the inner corner of the eye, I'm using number 390, which is a tan, fleshy coloured, and applying that on the lid. I'm just going to use a very soft brush to work away some of that colour on the corner because it was very well faded so the concentrate of colour was just here and then really faded out from here. But you could still see that there was a, a strong contour within the um, crease and above that. But it, it stopped right there on the outer corner. I'm just going in with the darker colour just to deepen that a bit more because it really is a smoky eye that she has. 
um, and she's come out of the um, out of the abbey, and I can see that the the eye um, much more clearly. So it is pulled out at the outer corners. I'm going to take that fleshy toe again and just apply that over the brow. She's got a very strong line around her eyes, so I'm going to go in with feline coal pal pencil. Just do a ring around my eyes. It's not going to flick out, it's just going to go just around the eyes on the both lower and upper lashes. I'm going to use a soft angle brush just to soften that line and to make it look smoother. And at the edges, it just kind of met, it didn't flick out at all. And it went all the way to the inner corner. This is reminding me of my cocky look. <laughs> Pick up a bit of very light concealer. So using MAC um, number 390 eyeshadow, I'm just going to work that eyeliner and really blend it out until it's a stain on the eyelid. And then to soften out this edge, I'm just going over with my um, concealer brush or the, my foundation brush and just going around cleaning up the edges. Just putting the tote back in. And I'm finishing off with L'Oreal's Volume Million Lashes. I did forget Vow Pencil, which is by Illamasqua, on the waterline. Uh, just a light wash will do. The radiance that she has on her skin, I'm going to use Makeup Forever's um, primer. This one is in um, this violet colour. I'm just going to brush that on to certain areas of my face, so I'm going to apply it just here. A little on her forehead. Let's just do another quick coat of concealer, a very light one. And that's because I've been touching my face um, and I've taken some of it away. Foundation, I'm going to be using this one here by Makeup Forever. Um, my shade number is, people have asked me this, I've got number 128. Focus! There we go, that one. I suspect um, that her makeup was airbrushed just from the way the blush line went, but. Um, to keep it simple for everybody else to copy, I decided not to go with the airbrush. Um, uh, you know, if you were to do this exactly like that, you'd probably want to use two to three shades of foundation. A lighter one here around the eyes, um, slightly darker around the jawline, and then flesh colour around the cheeks and everywhere else just to give um, that contrast highlight and contoured look. Always remember to take foundation down to the neck so that you go, don't get a line of demarcation. Okay, for powder, I'm going to press on Makeup Atelier's powder, loose powder, around my nose just to keep it completely matte. Around my upper lip and lower lip and my chin. I 
and around my jawline. And then using a soft brush, I'm probably going to use this one actually, I'm going to then take some powder onto the brush, tap it off and then just sweep that over everywhere else. So I get a concentrated amount of powder where I really need it the most and a little bit um, everywhere else just to set the foundation without it being so matte that it allows the shine to still come through, natural shine, from the primer that we applied underneath. I want that to come through as opposed to shine from any oil on my face. Take my mineral um, skin finish, which is um, the natural version in medium dark. I'm just going to apply a little of that to the forehead. I didn't see any of that or any sort of contouring around the cheeks too much. So I'm just going to, I didn't see any strong contours in the cheeks at all. Um, all I could really notice was a blush, but I did notice a bit of colour just here by the temples. Um, and around the jawline. I also noticed it um, here that connects the bridge of the nose with the eyebrow. I'm just taking a very soft brush going into that and I'm just applying that in there. It looked like a quite dark colour that was used in there but I'm just going to use this one. I just said a whole load and didn't press the record button. Okay, so I'll start again. The um, colour that I thought initially to use when um, I saw the blush look was this one, which is Gingerly by MAC. Um, that looks like that. When I tried it on my skin, I thought it was a little too neutral and didn't have enough pink, but I didn't have any uh, foundation on, so I knew it would look a bit different with foundation applied. Then I thought to use this, which is called Coral. It's by um, Makeup International. When I applied that to my cheeks, it was very pink, so I decided to go with um, Gingerly. Now the way the blush went is where my cheek falls itself naturally for the blush to fall in a shape like this around here. Um, hers was very much going across in a, um, in a rounded teardrop shape, so wide and, and quite rounded here, and then it went off into a point um, towards the ears and it went across the cheek. Um, it was The line is quite sharp and, and, and quite perfect and it lent me to believe that um, it was done with an airbrush. But having done the other cheek, I think this colour is very, very realistic to what she had on. I could not see any contouring at all. And I didn't see any highlights either, apart from anything that would have been done with the concealer at the early stages, so setting the base. For my lips I'm using Mouth Off, pencil by um, MAC. I'm going to soften out all harsh edges and then on top of that I'm going to use Sea Sheer Lipstick by Max. By Max, Mac, I mean. I'm going to blot that out. I'm going to apply um, a glossy lipstick um, just to give it a bit of shine. A little bit of colour back, I'm just going to take this colour here. This palette's by Makeup Atelier Paris. I'm just mixing the colours to get it right. I'm just going to go in just a little bit and highlight this area with a little light concealer. The same one I used earlier to clear up underneath that area. So that's me done. Um, my hair's all curled up in hot rollers and I've just straightened the side of my fringe. Um, I couldn't find my diamond tiara, fortunately. <laughs> so I've got in Maya's headband. Um, just to finish off the look. Um, so I hope you like this tutorial and um, I'll speak to you guys soon. Bye!